The Dorchester County Corner is another seat up for grabs this November. We are happy to be joined by the incumbent, Paul Brothers, who is vying for re-election. Paul, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. So if re-elected, this will be your third term in office. Yes. I would like to go back to 2016 and hear your why. Why did you decide to run? Well, when, uh, when that happened in 2016, I really didn't have a, a plan to run for office. I was working as a, a funeral director and embalmer at a local funeral home in Charleston. And some friends of mine that I had known throughout my career called and said, you know, you would really make a good coroner. We, we think you should run for coroner. So I, I prayed over that and thought about it a lot and talked to some, some other friends and family. And, we decided to go ahead and do that, and uh, it worked out just beautifully. Wonderful. And so you had experience working in a funeral home. What are the responsibilities of a coroner? Well, uh, the coroner's primary responsibility is to investigate all deaths that occur within their jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. uh, that can range anything from homicides to hospice death cases mm -hmm. that occur in someone's home. Yeah. Uh, we, we have to look into everything, and every case, and to make sure that it's not uh, something else. In yeah. other words, like a hospice case may have an injury component to it and then that would change the, the manner of death from natural to accidental or, mm -hmm. or something else. Yeah. So we have to ask those questions and, and do a case file on every case that happens in our jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Now Paul, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and, and what brought you to where you are today? Well, I started my career with the State Highway Patrol. I was a, a state trooper for 28 and a half years. Uh, worked there uh, in, in Charleston and, well, Dorchester County as a road trooper. I did that for the first 18 years and then I was transferred to headquarters for the last 10 or so years. Mm -hmm. After that, when I retired, I went to mortuary school and became a funeral director and embalmer and worked at a local funeral home for about five years and then decided to run. So it was a good fit for me yeah. that, um, you know, having the, the uh, anatomical and physiological training that, a, that an embalmer must have. Uh, it, it, and plus with the investigative side of law enforcement, it was a really good fit for me. So I was really happy to do it. Why are you seeking reelection? Because we, we've managed to do a lot of things to modernize the coroner's office in Dorchester County, but there's still some things that are on the horizon that we already have in the works. And um, one of which is, of course, I applied for a grant for accreditation through the International Association of Coroners and Medical Examiners, and I was granted the grant. So yeah. we're in the process of modernizing policy and different things like that to undergo the auditors when they decide to come and, and do the audit. The other thing is uh, we're in the process of, of uh, building a new facility, something the coroner's office has never had in Dorchester County, so we're really excited about that. Uh, part of that will include an autopsy suite and we will bring on a pathologist on the staff to, to uh, perform the autopsies locally instead mm -hmm. of having to wait at other, other pathology departments. Yeah. So it, it's really exciting to, to know that that's on the, the horizon, but, um, but the most important thing of why I'm running is because I really care about the people in Dorchester County and throughout my law enforcement career I was always there, I always lived there and I really care about them and they care about me and they've taken good care of me through some pretty trying events. If you go back to like Hurricane Hugo and 9-11 and, and all those things where law enforcement was tasked to work day in and day out for sometimes 16 hours a day, I had people looking after m my family and my house, and, mm -hmm. and that was uh, most appreciated, and I want to give something back. Mm -hmm. And so in addition to those wonderful things that are in the works and on the horizon, what are your biggest aspirations, if reelected, your biggest goals? Well, of course, is to, to uh, continue to build on what we've done. Mm -hmm. uh, the accreditation, of course, is the, the IAC and me is the gold standard for accreditation throughout our country, and they, you know, they inspect your policies, your case files, your management, everything, and to make sure that everything you do is uh, up to, to national standards. And that's, that's where we are now. We're we are already there, but we have to have the audit come and, and the auditors come and do all the inspections. But, uh, but more than that, I want to I want to leave it better than I found it. Mm -hmm. And that, um, you know, it takes time and, you know, anytime you're talking about government operations, you know, things kind of turn slowly. You know, the, the, 
the funding, the this, the that, and I want to build on what we've done. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul, where can our viewers go to learn more about you and support you? Paulbrothers.com uh, on the internet. You can leave comments also to uh, make a donation to my campaign, things like that. But if you just want to learn more about who I am, uh, that's a good place to go. We also have a Facebook page, which is Paul Brothers for Dorchester County Coroner. Wonderful, Paul. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Thank you. My pleasure. We're back after this.